uh, can we record video? Yes, we can. So the recording is done from my side. So let's say, for example, end of the class, you will be getting the recording, right? Perfect. So, well, I hope uh, you guys, all of you are uh, like, you know, uh, uh, engineering students, some might be from the non-technical background and planning to learn the German because uh, you want to take it as a career or if you are actually planning to uh, study abroad. Fine. So uh, let me just... Uh, Give you so guys please uh, just as I told you all the audios put all the audios on mute and uh, I will ask the person and uh, the person will uh, you know uh, unlock the mute option and then he can speak perfect all right so uh, before starting the class let me give you a sm give you guys a small introduction of myself uh, my name is Jitendra and Jitendra Chaudhary and uh, I am from Hyderabad and I've been living here for uh, uh, since four years. Actually, I come from Delhi and uh, I've been teaching German online since uh, three years and currently working with Amazon as a German language expert. So I have been to Germany many times from the professional work and uh, from the, you know, from the travel point of view. So talking about uh, the German language, I have immense experience uh, with the culture and the people there. So we will make the class interactive. We will uh, be taking the questions if you have, and this is how we will be proceeding, right? So I, uh, so it's, it's like, you know, uh, most of us are like very familiar with the offline teaching, right? So we like the classroom uh, teaching and all study right so but i think uh, online nowadays because of the digital india and because of uh, many online in online courses so everything is going to be online in coming days so sometimes it's like uh, so guys uh, as i said please be, there shouldn't be any disturbance right so uh, right so uh, we uh, for many of you it will be like you know uh, like the first experience uh, having the online classes so but it is a fun right while uh, while learning perfect so uh, moving on to the german language right so german language is a european language you know germany all of us know right so uh, it is the and german language is spoken in germany austria and switzerland an official language of these three countries and uh, it is like you know from the uh, uh, talking about uh, like it does it have a different script no it's exactly like same like English if you know English language then you can easily learn the German language all right so before uh, okay so I'll take you through uh, some basics today okay so basics means like alphabets how do we pronounce how do we actually do the pronunciation of words and uh, then some basic questions uh, like how are you where do you come from what is your name some basic questions in German language. All right. So let me share the screen with you guys. Now you can see the screen. So as I said, uh, you can see the screen and uh, you can read it. So it sounds like, guys, you know, all mute. the guys, please mute. Yeah, I, I, as I told you guys, please be on mute. And don't write something uh, uh, because uh, on uh, on the screen because you can also write somewhere and don't do like you know uh, the activities which are which are affecting the other students in the class. Perfect. So uh, as I said, like 26, uh, you know, in German we have 26 letters uh, exactly like English, but the pronunciation is different. So I will do the pronunciation and I will randomly pick the names and will ask you guys to do the pronunciation. So A in German, we call it as a, so from your, uh, you know, for, uh, for your better pronunciation point of view to make it easy. So I have written like A sound in German is like A, right? A, B, 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 and C sound is C. 
से डे ए एफ रिमेंबर इट बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द वर्ड्स एंड आई बी आस्किंग यू गाइज और राइट सो डे ए एफ गे हा ई ओके गे हा ई J sound is like y sound, right? It's like y o t. K, L, M, N, O, right? Sounds like English. P is P sound. P, Q, K is Q is Q. R, S, T, U, F, O, V, X. So. v sound in german is always a f sound right f sound so remember this v we do the pronunciation as f okay and y is ypsilon ypsilon and z is set set t uh, and s sound right so it's set set all right so let me write down some words here and just a second so as i said v sound in german is a f sound okay so i'm writing a german word okay that means father in german it is known as father i will ask vishal raj uh vishal can you do the pronunciation for this word how do we call it in german right so v sound is f sound and a is a so v a becomes what fa tar father father means father right so father is father next word is this one all right so let's say uh everybody is perfect so let i'll take uh, sushma okay sushma can you try the pronunciation for this word mhm mm okay no problem so see this is m u t t a r so u sound is what u u u is in german we call it as a u so the pronunciation is mutter mutter means mother father mutter okay then we have another word it means brother and what is the pronunciation the sound is bruder bruder yeah father mutter bruder okay then we have schwester schwester means sister okay schwester sister another mm -hmm. word brother uh, okay now this word is wohnung uh, yeah w sound in german is w sound uh, so it is wohnung uh, wohnung means apartment uh, apartment uh, right so uh, let me repeat father mutter uh, bruder schwester wohnung uh, right these are the right pronunciation father mother brother sister and apartment so german word for apartment is wohnung and house is house right please mute please mute guys please mute house i'm not able to hear house perfect so the pronunciation for house is house okay then all right so the german word for fan is this we call it as a fan it means okay ventilator so v sound is f sound so it's like fan t la a sound is always a so whenever you see a open your mouth and say a so ventilator ventilator means fan right some people say ventilator also but that depends like if you are in the northern germany right you know berlin the capital they say ventilator and if you move to the south germany they say ventilator so even the uh, you know they also have they do pronounce the words differently in germany itself 
So fentilatoa means fen. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm writing the words and making you guys comfort from the pronunciation point of view. Okay. So Vater, Mutter, Bruder, Schwester, Wohnung, Haus, Ventilator. Okay. Now, how to say good morning in German language? So, good morning is Guten Morgen. Yeah. Guten Morgen is good morning. Right? So, tomorrow in your college, you can say that Guten Morgen. Yeah. So, Guten Morgen is good morning. Guten Tag is like good day and you can use it throughout the day like either you can say in the morning afternoon evening you can say guten tag so guten morgen good morning especially and guten tag is good day yeah guten abend is good evening just a second yeah so good guten abend means good evening and gute nacht means good night uh, guys, I, I will ask you guys uh, because uh, see uh, the location where you guys are sitting could be different. So I, as I told you at the beginning of the class, please be on please be on mute so that others in the class did not get disturbed. Right? So please be on mute. Okay. So guten Nacht means good night. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir, please. please one second. So kindly can you unmute your mics please we're getting disturbance yes perfect as i said uh guys I mean, because disturbance the other people will get affected because it's an online class we are not in the classroom it's a it's online class so uh, somebody is sitting somewhere someone is sitting somewhere so make sure that your audios are off so that you get the right output perfect so all right. So good morning in German. We call it, we call it as a Guten Morgen. Yeah. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag is good day. Good evening is Guten Abend. Good night is Gute Nacht. Okay. So I will also ask, for example, Girish here. Also Girish, can you hear me? Girish. Yes. yes. Yeah. Perfect. So Girish, can you do the pronunciation? Guten Morgen. Is that good? Good morning. Good and Thai, good and Abbey, good and Nart. Yeah, perfect. Now you can do it. Perfect. Yeah, yes, very good. All right. Uh, then, Mr. Banerjee, yeah, can you try? Good morning. Guys, be on mute. It's, 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 uh, Okay. So, good, all right. So, uh, Gute Nacht means good night. All right. Guys, be on mute. I think uh, this is, uh, again, I'm saying be on mute because uh, uh, it will be a problem then. You cannot hear clearly. All right. So, Let's re uh, repeat. Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Gute Nacht is good night. All right. So, in German, if I am asking you, what is your name? How to say that? We heißen Sie. That means, what are you called? What's your name? We heißen Sie. We heißen Sie, right? So you will say heißen the name. So for example, ich heiße Jitendra. So the question is, we heißen Sie. Heißen is a verb which means to be called. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, guys. Uh, as I said, see, I don't know many people are there online, so I, I can't uh, tell from where the disturbance is coming. But I can I can only say that if you guys put all the audios on mute, you can listen what I'm saying. You can hear my voice. But if you keep it unmute, then your background disturbance will come in the class, and it will it is going to impact us. So I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Oh, 
जर्मन मिस्टर मोहन राज प्लीज कैन यू बी ऑन म्यूट नहीं अपने में रखा या सर या ऑनलाइन सर anybody like oh, maybe yeah. someone has put it on unmute right so that's why the notification is coming and he, it's, it looks like uh, some you know he is on right. the screen somewhere all right so i said no one raju which means what right so if i ask you a question we hisense that means what are you what's your name So you say I am called the name in the Prasanna, Farhan, Lokesh, yeah. So is hi sir and your name. Okay. The next thing. The next question is who here common Z? That means who here means where from? Common Z. Z means you. Where do you come from? The question is, where do you come from? And how to say in German? Woher kommen Sie? Woher kommen Sie? Okay. So your answer is, ich komme aus. If you are in Germany and if a German is asking you, where do you come from? So your answer is, I come from India. Ich komme aus Indien. Yes. So the question is, where common Z is coming out in the US? We heisen Z is heiser the thing. Yeah. Some basic questions so that you get the feel of the language, how the German is written. But I don't know, guys, uh, who is doing this disturbance. This is, uh, I mean, it's completely disturbing the class. I think most of you are on mute. The person who is not on mute, can you check? I think Sridhar is not on the mute. Sanjay is not on the mute. Rakesh, can you put on mute? Mohan Raju, can you please be on mute? Mohan Raju. Mohan Raju, can be on your mute? Yes, perfect. Now you see, right? Great. Thanks. All right. So uh, the question is: V hyphen Z means what are you called? Ish hyphen, and then you take your name. Hyphen means is a verb which means to be called. What are you called basically if you translate it into English? The second question is woher common Z? Z means you. Common means to come, and woher means where from. So where do you come from? For example, if you are in Germany and a German is asking, "Hello, where are you from?" So you will say, "I am from India." So ish komme aus Indian. I come from India. Common means to come. I come from India. The next question is wo wohnen Z? Yeah, wo means where. Wohnen means to live. Z means you. So that means where do you live? So ish wohne. I hope most of you guys are living in Bangalore. Ish wohne in Bangalore. Yeah, or the ish wohne in Hyderabad, whatever. Ish wohne in Pune. Ish wohne in New Delhi. In New Delhi. Ish wohne in Kolkata. Yeah. So wo wohne in Z. The question is wo wohne in Z, and your answer should be ish wohne in. Hyderabad, Ishwana in Bangalore. All right, so three important questions we have done. We hyphen Z. What are you called? Wo her common Z. Where do you come from? Ish come out Indian. And wo wohnen Z. That means where do you live? Ishwana in Hyderabad. And somebody who is living in another city, he will take the right the name. Ishwana in Pune. Okay, so when I say is that clear? That means Is it clear? In German, we call it as a. Is it clear? Right? Is das klar? Klar is like similar to English, right? Clear, klar. Yeah. You have two questions, two answers, either yes or no. Yeah, das ist klar. Nein, das ist nicht klar. That is not clear, right? If is it clear? Yes, this is clear. No, this is not clear. Ya, yeah, das ist klar. Nein, das ist nicht klar. Perfect. So, uh, okay. So let's uh, let me just uh, take the name randomly. I will take, and the guy will unmute and will answer. Okay. So I think uh, uh, Abhishek. 
if i ask you the question abhishek you can unmute yes yeah. wo hai common z yeah. ish commerce indian sir good wo wonan z in chohan bengaluru ish wona the whole sentence ish wona ish wona in bengaluru perfect okay is das klar is it clear ya das ist klar ja sehr gut und nein das ist nicht klar okay nein, perfect das ist nicht klar nicht klar perfect das ist ja oder ja 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 j j sound j okay perfect all right so uh, yeah now you can unmute it i oh, sorry mute it all right so okay so when i say good good in german means good okay sehr gut let me write it sehr gut means very good okay good good sehr gut very good and this is a bit tricky aus ge seichnet right so german words are uh, uh, basically you know it's quite uh, uh, compared to other languages they are they looks very long right in the size but uh, they are very clear like they are very simple from the pronunciation point of view we can break them and we can do the pronunciation so let's say it is looking quite odd uh, but what we can say that aus ge seichnet so aus ge seichnet means out outstanding i am outstanding fabulous out oh, sorry outstanding okay so good sehr gut aus geht seichnet perfect all right so when you say bye to someone how to say in german right so there are two byes one is informal by and another one is formal by so i'm saying formal by let's like say for example uh, to an unknown person right i don't know him and germany make i i'm telling you about my experience there uh, if you are in germany uh, you have to be very particular about formal and informal person right many of you might be knowing hindi in hindi we have tum and aap right so formal and infor informal structure in kannad also telugu also so if you are in germany you have to be very formal so unknown person you cannot say uh, tum right you have to be aap means z so uh, otherwise that person will say am i your friend why are you saying that form to me you have to be formal they are very like they are very strict you know germans are very strict so they directly say on your face so you have to be very much so you have to always be very very uh, professional when you are in germany always ask the questions in a formal way right so for that we have auf wieder sehen auf wieder sehen means bye bye means bye but formal perfect auf wiedersehen formal bye okay how to say informal bye hello sir can you teach from the basics choose yep choose means bye which is informal perfect see this is this is exactly as this question um, uh, somebody asked like uh, from the basics so this is completely the basics itself right so let's like, say for example we started from the alphabets if you know the alphabets so i'm writing the words here so you can do the pronunciation of these words i'm asking to produce the sound okay after that some basic questions can you give us the ppt that you uh, showed at the first yes perfect all right so let's say here so this is the sound right you have to like the pronunciation in german so if i know how to how to how to uh, you know do the pronunciation of how to say a b e a b c d in german language so the if you have a word you can give the right pronunciation so for that you need to have the sound right so let's say uh, the person who asked to open the ppt can you go at once how to say how to do the pronunciation a b read it because everything is in front of you Oh, yes. See. Yeah, louder, loud. Ah. Uh, a. B, a. 
See, A, A in German is A, B, C, D, A, A, A F. A. F. G sound is G, G sound. It's not G. Ha, G. H means ha. ha. E, ha. I sound is E, E. 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 Yot, J means yot. Ka, yot. Ka. L, L, M, N, M. O. N. Pay. Pay. The P sound is pay. Q is ku. Ku. R. R sound is r. S. 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 T is t. U sound is u. u. V is f sound. It's very important. You need to remember v in German. We call it as a f. V. W is v. V sound. X means x. Y is epsilon and Z sound is set, set, right? There are four other letters we'll talk about later on. So as of now, A to Z, that means, right? You have the pronunciation in front of you. After that, what I did, I wrote some German words right now on your screen. So let's say the first letter, as I told, V sound is F sound and A sound is A. So it becomes Fater, Fater, Fater means father. Second is I have written it like this. What is the sound? How to pronounce? M is M. U sound is U, right? So mutter, mutter, mutter means mother. Then you have U sound is U sound. Bruder, brother in German. So brother in English we call it as a bruder in German. Bruder. Sister is Schwester. Schwester. Wo nung. So W sound is wo sound, right? Wo. So O sound is O. So wo nung. Wo nung. So it's like, you know, if you know the alphabets, if you know the sounds, and I'll share this PPT with you guys so that once you know the sound, which word, sorry, which letter has which sound, then it's very simple for you to do the pronunciation, right? So that if a letter, if a word is written or sentence is there, easily you can do the pronunciation. All right. So let's say house. House means house is house in German. Fan in English we call it as a ventilator. Ventilator means fan. All right, and then <laughs> greetings. Right? How to do how how to greet someone? If you want to say good morning. Dependent. Yep. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Manche Guten Morgen. Good morning. Yeah. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Good day. Vater, my father. Mother, my mother. No, 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 no. This is not father, mother. This is father, mother. Okay. So, Guten Tag means good day. And Guten Abend means good evening. And Gute Nacht is good night. Right? So, these are the German words for good morning, good evening, good, good, evening, good day, good night. And Guten Tag, you can use throughout the day. Either in the morning, afternoon, evening. You can say Guten Tag. Okay, then after that, what we did, the simple question, what is your name? How to say in German? Okay, so that is V Eisen Z. As of now, I'm not saying, see, this is absolutely a new language for you guys. But the thing is, uh, you should be, you know, well versed with the language. So if I'm writing some sentences, as of now, you should be, you should know the pronunciation, how to do the pronunciation, right? What is the meaning of the word? So the grammar part is something that you can do later on, but something that you need to know, what is your name? Where do you live? Where do you come from? How to speak in German? All right. So we heisen Z, what, what are you called, right? Another word we'll talk about another sentence. What is your name? That is also we can talk about. So I am called means ish heiser and your name ish heiser Amit, ish heiser Yogesh, ish heiser Jitendra. You take your names. And second question was, woher common z means where do you come from yeah common is a verb which means to come z is u formal right like in, in hindi we talk about aap kaise hain right so that z means aap woher where from where do you come from ish kome aus indian i come from india ish kome aus indian yeah then another question was wo wonen z wonen means to live where do you live? 
I live in Hyderabad. Ish Vona in Hyderabad. Then another it was like is this clear? When I'm saying okay, you are not understanding. So is this clear? Two answers you will give. Yeah, yes, this is clear. No, this is not clear. If it is clear, then yeah, das ist klar. Nein, das ist nicht klar. This yeah. is not clear. Okay, sehr gut. Now, how to say good in German? Gut, gut, yeah, and very good, sehr gut. That's why I'm saying sehr gut, very good, and outstanding. This is quite complex. Aus G Seisnit. Aus G Seisnit means outstanding. Now, how to say bye bye, bye bye in German, right? Formal, informal. If it is a formal, then you will say Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, looks tricky. Yeah. So the Germans say Auf Wiedersehen for bye. In English, it is like three words, but here you see how many words. This is how the language is. All right. So Auf Wiedersehen. Bye, but formal. And choose, choose means bye. Looks quite odd. Choose, bye. Right. So, yeah. So, is that clear? Yeah. Or the nine? Perfect. So, see, hair, hair means Mister. Mr. Right? Herr means Mr. Mr. Right? And Frau. And Frau. Mrs. Mrs. So Mr. Mr. Sharma, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Reddy, Mrs. Reddy. So Herr, Reddy, Herr, Sharma, Frau, Sharma, Frau, Reddy, Mrs. Sharma, Mrs. Reddy, Mr. Right? So Herr and Frau, Mr. and Mrs. All right. So our question was, then you said, Ish wona in Bangalore. I live in Bangalore. Okay. So my next question is, wo is Bangalore? Where is Bangalore? So where is Bangalore? Bangalore is in is in India, right? Or the yeah, either in, you can say it's in India or you can say Karnataka. Bangalore, yeah, Bangalore is. In Karnataka, Bangalore is in Karnataka. That means Bangalore is Bangalore is in Karnataka. If I ask you, where is Karnataka? Where is Karnataka? So Karnataka is in Indian. Karnataka is in India. Karnataka is in Indian. And next question is, who is Indian? Where is India? So Indian is in is in Asia. India is in Asia, right? So you can answer sim simply. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Hyderabad. Wo ist Hyderabad? Where is Hyderabad? Let me write for you for simple. Where is Hyderabad or Bengaluru, whatever? So where is Hyderabad? Hyderabad is in is in Telangana. Wo is Telangana? Telangana is in Indian. Wo is Indian? Indian is in ASEAN. India is in Asia. Wo is Delhi? Delhi is in Indian because it's the capital. So Delhi is in Indian. Wo is Indian? Indian is in ASEAN. So Asia in German we call it as a ASEAN. Okay. So let me ask you. Uh, I'll pick. Okay. So Ab uh, Abhishek, Abhishek, you can unmute and can answer the questions. All right. So Abhishek, if you are there. Okay. I think. Uh, who wants to answer the question? Can raise the hand. There is an option of raising the hand here. You have not yet. Okay, so. Vishal, can you tell me who won in Z? Who won in Z? Hello. Yeah, Vishal, who won in Z? 
wohne in Bangalore. Lauter, laut. Ja, sehr gut. Ich, ich wohne mhm. in Bangalore. Ich wohne in Bangalore. Und wo ist Bangalore? Bangalore ist Karnataka. Ist in Karnataka. Bangalore ist in Karnataka. Und wo ist Karnataka? Karnataka ist in Indien. Sehr gut. Wo ist Indien? Indien ist in Asien. Indien ist in Asien. Perfekt. Sehr gut. Very good. Okay. Asien. Now, Buddha. Asien. Buddha. Buddha Aditya. Sorry if I'm spelling it wrong. So, can you can you try? Aditya. Hello. Yes, sehr gut. Yes. Okay. Ja, wo wohnen Sie? Where do you live? Hier, wo wohnen Sie? Uh, hello. Ja, try. Ich, wo wohnen Sie? My question is, wo wohnen Sie? Ja, es wohne in Bangalore. Wo ist Bangalore? Uh, Bangalore, Bangalore ist in Karnataka. Sehr gut. Wo ist Karnataka? Karnataka ist in Indien. Wo ist Indien? Indien ist in Asien. Asien. Sehr gut. Asien. Perfekt. Asien. Ja, Asien. Asien, not Asien. Asien. Okay. Ja, Asien. Ja, Ranjit Singh. Ja, Gur. Ja, try. So, wo wohnen Sie? Gursim Ranjit, wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Bengaluru. Wo ist Bengaluru? Bengaluru ist in Karnataka. Wo ist Karnataka? Karnataka ist in Indien. Und wo ist Indien? Indien ist in Asien. Sehr gut, perfekt. Und ja, uh, yeah, so this is how. Perfekt. All right. So, C sound as C, no, sir? Sound Z, Z sound for C. C is a common C. Yeah, we have common C. So, so it's like because of this E, I, normally it is like uh, S. So, I is because of this I, it is like Z. Z, 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 Z sound. So, wo wohnen Z? Where do you live? Wo wohnen Z? Where do you live? Perfect, guys. Awesome. So, you guys are get, uh, getting it correctly, right? So this is how. See the language is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Sir, sir, excuse me. Yep. Yeah, just a second. I would like to ask Gopi Krishna. Can you please uh, mute your audio? It's very disturbing. Yeah, please, Krishna. It's a request from our uh, colleague. Yep. All right. Uh, yes. So let's talk about. Uh, yeah, I think two guys raised the question. I mean, uh, hands. They can start. I'm not able uh, to see uh, because it's like quite number of people are more. So let's. Uh, all right. So this is uh, right. So basic questions. Yep. Okay. So these are some basic questions, right? So like for example, tomorrow you can ask your colleague where wo wohnen Sie, wo her kommen Sie. Many of you will be colleagues to each other, friends to each other. So. You can practice so some basic questions, right? Where do you come from? Where do you live? Where is Bengaluru? Wo is Karnataka? Where is Karnataka? Wo is Indian? Where is India? Right? So and then some words. Good. They are good. All right. Now. Okay. Uh, let me tell you uh, countings. Right? You know countings. Very interesting. All right. So we call them. Salen. Salen means numbers. Right? So let me write down. Okay. So zero means null. Null. In German we call it as a null. One is eins. Eins. Two. Zwei. Zwei. Z sound is the and sir sound. So it becomes zwei. Three is drei. Drei. Four None. means None. fear. Means. Fear. Don't repeat. I'll ask one by one. No problem. Fear. Fun. Five is fun. Fun. Six is zex. Zex. Seven is seven. Acht. 
this is kh, uh, kh sound like you have water in your mouth and you are kh, 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 like this kh. yeah so acht nine nine and ten is seen okay so guys i repeat null eins zwei eins drei zwei vier drei, drei fünf vier sechs sieben sechs acht neun zehn neun zehn all right so let's try uh hansraj yeah try if you are there yep yes, hans <coughs> yeah null mm -hmm. eins yeah sehr gut loud loud See and one Sorry. thing I would like to tell you guys. See the German. Uh, when you talk to a German, they are like you know they don't uh, because uh, talking about the French and German. So many of you have heard about the language French. So French is a romantic language, right? They like what they they actually eat the words. But the Germans are like they it's like a Hitler, right? So their beard is the way they have ruled, the way they have lived their life. Their language mm. looks like. as it is right so they stress on words they stress on letters right so open your mouth and say null eins zwei yeah eins zwei hmm drei 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 vier sehr gut fünf fünf hmm fünf sechs 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 ja sieben 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 right the way i am doing the pronunciation what you can do if you have a pen or pencil you can write the way you are either you know hindi telugu tamil kannad malayalam whichever language so the the pronunciation that i am doing you can write in your own language so that next time when you are uh, uh, repeating so you don't do the mistake right sieben sieben acht Acht and ah. kh, always remember kh, this comes from your throat kh, kh. Ah. Acht. yeah nine Acht. Acht. nine seven nine seven okay uh, all right perfect hans raj uh, now you can unmute and now gopi krishna please try sir i want to try yeah please go ahead null Yeah. Yes, sir. Null. Hmm. Eins. Yeah. Zwei. Okay. Drei. Vier. Fünf. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Yes. Fantastic. Right. You're very good. Very good. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Eight. विनाश Null eins, yeah. Try, guys. Anyone? Null. Yes. Sir, this, this voice seems to be very, very confident. Yes. Try. <laughs> Null. Hmm. Eins. Zwei. Drei. Drei. Zwei. Drei. Zwei. Drei. Zwei. Zwei. Drei. Mm -hmm. Vier. Vier. Fünf. Yeah. Mm. Sechs. 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 Sehr gut. Sieben. 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 Mhm. Sieben. Acht. 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 Neun. Neun. Zehn. Perfekt. Ja, adet ja. Ja. Null. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Go ahead. Yes. Very good. Null. Eins. Ah, uh, zwei. Ah, uh, drei. Vier. Vier. 
fm fm okay and sex sieben acht neun and zen sehr gut sehr gut aditya okay perfect so guys now we will talk about your mobile number everybody has your number right so mobile number we ist ihr mobil number so like step by step what is your mobile number another way is like mobile we also say handy not handy normally a sound is a sound but here we don't say handy it looks very odd but we say handy handy number so we is ear we is ear mobile number we is ear handy number same thing mobile number or the handy number means i'm asking for your mobile number right somebody is asking about your mobile number so minor mobile number is so sieben so you see sieben zwei null sieben vier zwei fünf zwei eins vier so das ist meine mobile number okay this is my mobile number so let's say here you have the counting still uh, 0 to 10 so you can talk about your mobile number very simple right okay so question is what is your mobile number we is ihre mobile number or we is ihre handy number meine meine mobile number or you can say that meine handy number handy number is 720 74 Swai fünf swai eins vier. Now, I will ask. Uh, just a second, Girish, unmute and tell me. V is your mobile number. My mobile number. My na, my na. Always remember, just like guys, remember one thing. Whenever e is coming at the end of any word, you have to. It becomes. It has a sound. A a. So my na. No, 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 no. So my no mobile number, mobile number is all right. So say yeah. My no mobile number is yeah. You have nine 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 null null Swiss fuel nine seven seven fuel and nine. Perfect. Very good, Girish. Very good. Okay. So let's. uh it'll say yogesh yogesh balaji can you try v is ear mobile number what is your mobile number okay kind of him apur yeah okay you are there so yeah, fine great start noin null mm -hmm. yes yes eins zwei uh. zwei Yes, eins vier. Sehr gut. It's not. It's it's sex. Sex. Okay, perfect. Sex. All right. So let's okay. take uh, Apurva. Apurva, can you tell? We is ear a mobile number. Yes, sir. Uh, main mobile number is Noel. Noel. Nine null zwei null. Zoe, act, 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 drive. Very good, super, perfect. All right, so let's talk about Vinit. Vinit, we is your mobile number. Hmm, Vinit. Yep. Seven, three, act. Ah, Zoe. Mhm. Act. Mhm. Zoe. No. Six, six. Zui, nun, 
Akat. Acht. Sehr gut. Perfekt. Acht. Ja, super, super. Okay, Mr. Narwal. Yep. Ankit Narwal, can you try? Wie ist Ihre Mobilnummer? Okay. Mm, all right. Chetanya, wie ist Ihre Mobilnummer? Perfect. Okay, so these guys, deep, deep she. You can also try. All these guys are on mute. Perfect. Sanjay, wie ist Ihre Mobilnummer? Okay, kein Problem. Yep. So, wie ist Ihre Mobilnummer? Now you can talk about your mobile number. Right? You can tell what's your mobile number. Perfect. Now the next question is, we is your email address? Yeah? What is your email address? Okay. We is your email address. So minor email address. Address. Address means address is and uh, you can write yeah jitendra punct so first of all let me tell you point is punct punct in german point we call it as a punct and this is minus 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 and this underscore we call it as a unterstreich unterstreich unter Streich, so punkt Chaudhary fünf null at the rate means at and then gmail punkt com. So wie ist Ihre E-Mail Adresse? Meine E-Mail Adresse ist Jitender punkt Chaudhary fünfzig. It's a fifty. We'll talk about later on because we have done till ten at gmail punkt com. This is how you can talk about your G your ID. Email address, right? The question is, we is your email address exactly like we is your mobile number. What is your mobile number? What is your email address? We is your email address. Perfect. Is that clear? When I say is that clear, that means, yeah, ja, that is clear, or nein, that is not clear. Yes, this is clear. No, that is not clear. So when you say nine das ist nicht klar, I need to repeat. Okay, perfect. So is das klar? Yeah, das ist klar. Yeah, klar. Yeah. Everybody is on mute. I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, good, very good. <laughs> I was, I was, I thought. Where are the people? Okay, good, good, good. All right. So yeah, das ist klar. Okay. Now. In German, uh, no, you know uh, how to say bye bye, right? Formal and informal. It's choose means informal bye, and auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen is a formal bye, right? No formal bye. Choose auf Wiedersehen. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Auf Wiedersehen. Very good. Yeah, auf Wiedersehen. All right. So here. Auf Wiedersehen. All right. So you know Morgan. See. Uh, just don't. Uh, I mean, just remember there. I'm writing. I'll tell you later on. Not as of now. This is Morgan. There, Morgan means morning. Okay. There, mittag means noon. There, four mittag. Four mittag means pre noon. And there, nach means after. Nach mittag. Means afternoon. Abend means evening. Okay. And the night means night. This you will understand later on why I'm writing there, 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 and the here, here, there, and here, the. Later on you will understand. So there, morgen, there, mittag, there, vor mittag. Der Nachmittag, der Abend, die Nacht. Okay. Now, if I say 
see you tomorrow so i will say bis only i need to put bis and tomorrow morgan is also tomorrow so bis morgan that means see you tomorrow bis abend means see you in evening till evening yeah see you see you in evening bis abend so same like i if i put bis 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 here it means after means later on see you tomorrow see you in evening see you in afternoon see you in noon pre noon whatever right so we need if we put bis so till till tomorrow so after the class i will say hello guys bye bye see you tomorrow so bye bye means cheers bis morgan cheers bis morgan okay bis morgan all right so let's uh, summarize it right in the first class itself you guys have uh, uh, actually done a lot of uh, you know the questions the basic questions which is uh, fantastic and your pronunciation was really were really nice okay so father mutter bruder schwester wohnung haus ventilator or the ventilator guten morgen good morning guten tag good day guten abend good evening good nacht good night the question what is your name what are you called we heißen sie ich heiße jitender woher kommen sie where do you come from ich komme aus indien wo wohnen sie ich wohne in hyderabad wo ist hyderabad hyderabad ist in telangana wo ist telangana telangana ist in indien wo ist indien indien perfect step by step now then we said is this clear ya yeah, das ist klar nein das ist nicht klar how to say good gut sehr gut aus ge seichnet outstanding <laughs> auf wiedersehen bye tschüss bye informal then we have weekdays we call them the time throughout the day right you know we have we have morning noon pre noon afternoon yeah pre noon noon afternoon evening night morgen mittag vormittag nachmittag abend nacht see you tomorrow bis morgen see you in evening bis abend okay then herr mr frau mrs then we did the countings the numbers salen 0123456789010 we is ihre mobilnummer so that's my number so my mobilnummer is 7 Zwei null sieben vier zwei fünf zwei eins vier, right? So you same way you can talk about your mobile number. So mobile number number means mobile number or the handy number, same thing. After that, what is your email address? We is your email address. My email address is jitender punk chaudhary fünf null at gmail punk com so point is point minus is this and underscore is interstrash interstrash okay mute and mute and mute all right so guys uh, that was the session for today so this recording uh, i will send you pratibha i think she is the coordinating person with you guys so uh, then uh, she will send you so just please write and do the pronunciation accordingly and then tomorrow we'll talk about something interesting right perfect so then what should i say now cheers bis morgen bis morgen perfect bis morgen awesome guys great thank you so much for your participation and we will meet tomorrow okay bis morgan cheers 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 cheers
you use this for